guys so this is a bit of a uh, impromptu vlog um because i've decided i might might <laughs> jump merino today um basically everything's had a bit of a disaster this week and i just thought well i can either if everything's going wrong already i can just add to it because we know what he's like jumping or if he goes really well then i'll just be so happy that nothing else matters <laughs> so that's my mindset at the minute um it's the list of things that haven't went to plan exactly um i think i've mentioned it on here that we have dressage on the 30th of may um we might have to withdraw from that because we can no longer get a lift although i'm still looking if anyone would like to offer <laughs> um our heating in the house and hot water is completely broken hence why i have a hat and uh these bad boys on <laughs> i don't normally float about the house like this um but yeah it's absolutely freezing um my skin not looking not looking the best at the minute um but that's i'm very stressed with the exams and work so <laughs> things aren't going great but i thought i would just kind of take you along today if it goes well happy days if it doesn't not so happy days but you can still see it anyway um <laughs> I just yeah I'm feeling a bit brave today I don't know why because I'm not I'm not usually very brave but um yeah I hope I stay on and I hope you enjoy the video and I'll get on into it and stop rambling now. <laughs> so I'm just starting off with um, my usual little warm-up obviously I haven't included all the clips of the warm-up because again it would bore you to death and that was my dad's finger. <laughs> um, so just good bit of trot, good bit of walk, good bit of canter um, I'm not actually asking him to go on the bit, I'm just letting him know that he is jumping. Um, I am obviously asking him to still be soft in my hand and drop his head down, but he knows he's not doing dressage. And um, there's no point forcing him to, because he would just get angry at me. So we're still having a little warm up here. You can tell he's actually going lovely, he was really really soft in my hand this day, and there's my dad's finger again. Um, which I just, it was, I was over the moon with him, because if you had asked me a few months ago, to ride him like this it just wouldn't have happened he like recently he settled down so much it could have been the change in feed I'm not sure he also thrives in the summer he absolutely adores the warm weather and as you can tell I'm wearing and like I'm riding in like the little base layer so it is so warm this day I, I was actually burnt to a crisp at the end of it my face is so red um but still in our little warm-up clips Nothing too exciting really, just showing you is that it is a lengthy warm up. Um, I do warm him up longer for jumping, obviously, um, especially because he's an older horse. <clears throat> and he also gets his lunge uh, before I ride as well, which I didn't include in this video because you've seen enough of it, you see it every video. <laughs> so for the canter, I'm just cantering around, I do some big circles, some little circles, um, not in the video. I'll stand up out of the saddle a little bit, let him stretch his back, um, ask him to lengthen and ask him to shorten just so he knows, you know, oh, she might ask me to adjust my stride today. Because <laughs> I don't really ask him that much um, whenever we're doing flat work, but whenever we're jumping, obviously if I see a stride that we're not going to meet very well, I'll have to ask him to shorten or lengthen. Um, but again, even for strides today, um, normally he would stick the head up in the air and run and you would just get launched into the air. There was no point even looking for a stride because he wasn't going to take it. He would launch off at least a stride early every time. But you can even see that downwards transition. He came back to me straight away. No fighting, no nothing. Um, here he's really, really starting to drop his head and work quite nicely. Um, <clears throat> just doing a little circle around the jump just so he knows. Because at this point I was obviously quite nervous still. Um, so I'm just putting him round the jump, just letting him know it's there, that we will be going over it at some point. Um, this day I was actually in charge of the yard, just bringing all the horses in in the evening. So what I actually did was I brought Marino in first, uh, put him in a stable for a little bit and then brought all the other horses in. So that by the time I was actually riding him, um, all the horses aren't in the fields because usually they would be um, to the left and right of the arena and at the bottom of the arena and you know if he's jumping and they see he's jumping they might get a little bit excited and that would set him off so I thought that was a uh, quite smart of me if I do say so myself uh, just making sure it was so quiet 
Um, and then because everyone knew that I was bringing the horses in this day, no one was really at the yard. So it was literally just me and my daddy, which suited us down to a tea this day because the slightest thing can blow Marino's head. And he just needed this bit of, you know, confidence building and positivity, I would say, <laughs> just to let him know that this is what I'm expecting and he will get a lot of praise and rewards for it. So this jump is tiny. I know. <laughs> We're just starting off over a tiny, tiny little cross pole. You can see how tense I am, like through my shoulders in my riding. I was so nervous. Because um, about normally you would, as soon as he sees the jump, he would leap into the air and take off. So you can see how happy I am. You can see the massive smile on my face. <laughs> so that was such an improvement. But sometimes he likes to trick you. He'll be lovely and calm for the first jump and then it all goes downhill from there. So I'm still quite weary at this point uh, because he, I know what he's like and you can see he's having a little look at something in the fields there. So I had, I'd braced myself for the worst really. <laughs> Not uh, shame Marino or anything but I just I wasn't expecting much. So we're just coming in date again and he jumps it lovely a second time. Really calm, stays in trot, which I literally couldn't believe. Big pats, lots of praise as soon as he's done it. Um, the thing is with Marino, he can start so calmly and then something small can blow his head. But you'll notice as this ride progresses, I really start to trust him more. Um, even going around in the canter, I'm, you know, given my reins and the rhythm is staying the same, which is really reassuring me and showing me that I do have full control of him right now and this I could have cried he was so calm get into that and even you know even whenever he is calm sometimes he'll still do a massive like leap before like the last stride before the jump which he didn't do here and I was so shocked but I was absolutely over the moon to say the least um just cantering round and the fact that he was able just to canter around calmly, he didn't spook, he didn't bolt. I think I actually might have been slightly crying at this point. He's taken any stride I ask, and usually for Marino, he would take off early and launch me into the air. I've actually had to get physio. He's given me whiplash on some occasions. So <laughs> just to show you all how bad it can get. So even here, he's not sticking his head up in the air. I'm over the moon with him. Um, and also... Whenever I turned him into the jump, I at the start I was given a very short run up to it just so he didn't have time to think about taking off. But now you can see I'm getting a bit more confident. He's getting a bit of a longer run up and he's still saying, still staying so calm. I also know my jump position isn't the best. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not great over the smaller jumps, which is really, really bad. Um... I do need to work on that. <laughs> it is really bad. Um, but I've been used to jumping much bigger horses uh, than Marino. So I'm used to, like, and with Marino's behaviour, I'm used to massive leaps and getting thrown about and over jumping. So naturally, I would um, fold a bit too much just in case I do get launched into space. But Marino's been so good today, I literally don't even need to. And I'm aware I'm not perfect, but as I said earlier, the nerves did get to me today. <laughs> the nerves really, really got to me and really had an effect on my riding. I was really happy with the transitions as well, because normally if there's a jump up, he will launch into the transitions and just kind of run, rather than a nice, calm, collected, popping up into canter. Uh, so over the moon with that, sometimes jumping down the school isn't a great idea for Marino. That's why I started jumping towards the gate uh, because he knows if he's jumping down towards the bottom of the arena like he is here, he can see the fields and he can see other things that might scare him. Uh, but if he's jumping up towards the yard, there's nothing that's going to really worry him. So I always start on that rain just in case. Um, and you can see after every jump I'm giving him so much praise because I just want to drill into his head that this is exactly what I want from you. If you keep this up, we will be absolutely flying. Um, 
I am still incorporating, you know, some little circles in trot and canter just to let him know it's not going to be the same because I did notice at this point he was starting to predict when I was going to ask him to canter. So I was just taking him away from the jumping for a little bit um, and letting him think, oh, maybe I don't know exactly what she's going to ask me. Um, because Marino is a very intelligent horse and he does catch on to things like this very, very quickly. That jump was not great on my part. Um, I saw a long one and I knew, I knew if he had it chipped in, he would have knocked it. So I asked him for the long one. However, the thing with Marino, whenever he takes the long one, he does get a little bit excited afterwards. So I did brace myself for the buck that he usually does, but he didn't do it, which I was very impressed with. Um, he did just get a little bit excited and a little bit more jumpy. So I just took him back to do some more circles um, until he completely settled. And you can see he came back to me so quickly, which is such an improvement for him. And then we're going back down into the jump again. This time I'm trying for a better stride. And you can see I held him a little bit um, going into it. And he did actually come back to me. Normally, whenever I would hold him before a jump, he would throw the head up in the air and just completely run through my hand and bomb at the jump, knock it flying, take off, and it would be a whole a whole nightmare. But here he just he came back to me lovely. He really, really listened to me. I was just over the moon. Also, please ignore the yellow stain on his back leg. I can't get it out. <laughs> but just, I would... That wasn't even English that I just spoke. I was just so over the moon with him this day. I didn't jump very high. I left it very low uh, just because obviously we're easing him back into jumping. But you can hear at the end of this one just how happy I am. <laughs> oh, you are the best pony in the world. So there we go. We finally got to jump. We finally did it. <laughs> um, For anyone that has been watching my channel for a while, you will know... But I've had a bit of a nightmare when it comes to jumping. Um, obviously there was Marie with accident, um, and then the box rest, and then the setback from the chiropractor, and then he went a bit boogaloo, so that was also not great. Um, but I just I don't know something just. Do you ever get those gut feelings and you're just like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna jump today. Um, I didn't just you know it wasn't just a case of he was crazy one day and I got on the next and he was fine. Um. He has been lunged over jumps to get him like more used to them. He had a feed change, his feed was cut down. Um, he changed from heelage to half hay and half heelage. And also in the summer, he just behaves better. I think he just enjoys the summer more, to be honest. Um, I don't blame him, like I do too. <laughs> but um, I'm just, I was just thrilled the bits with him. I honestly couldn't believe it. Like I literally got off him and cried. And you can probably hear in the video just how ecstatic I am. He was just, he was so good and I'm maybe getting a bit ahead of myself but already planning cross country for the summer, seeing if we can get out some shoe jumping, some working hunter, the whole lot, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I, again, I keep saying I'm so happy with him because I am, I was so, like, like the change in him is unbelievable. Like I know it was only 70 but I didn't want to push him too far for his first jump back because don't want to wreck his wee legs and don't want to like end on a bad note he was going so well I just thought yep yeah, leave it here short and simple and obviously we can build back up over time there's no rush whatsoever um also wanted to mention this look how comfy this is look at this it looks like merino <laughs> this is my favorite purchase so far and it's also see if I can show you it. <laughs> thumb holes look at that equi boodle shout out to the equi boodle and emily cole um collaboration because they just accidentally drew Marino. Didn't even realise. Well, maybe what Marino wishes he looked like, but we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> He's never been that white. Uh, but yeah, enough of my rambling over how much I love my pony. Um, that is all for this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.